Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin London, and I work for Briney Tooling Systems. We're a U.S. manufacturer of precision rotary tool holders for machining centers, and we work with customers from all over the world that are worried about their current vendors' financial stability. Will they be around next month? Concerned about late deliveries due to inconsistencies with their current vendors, as well as customers that are frustrated by not getting consistent quality. Have you ever tried to follow a recipe for baking bread? Did you ever forget one of those ingredients listed in the recipe? How did that bread taste when compared to one that had all the ingredients in it? Probably not the same. At Briney we say the proof's in the pudding. Manufacturing a tool holder is really not much different than baking some bread. If you follow the recipe and don't skip any of the ingredients or steps, you get a much better product than if you didn't. We like to keep it simple at Briney. We take certified steels plus specialized heat treat practices times innovative and proven manufacturing methods all equal quality tool holders. At Briney, we only use certified materials. 8620 carbon alloy for all standard tool holders, which mean non-HSK and non-shrink fit tooling. H13 tool steel for all HSK and shrink fit products. Heat treat. Standard tooling, non-HSK and shrink fit tooling, is made from premium certified 8620 alloy. They are carbon hardened to a rockwell of 58 to 62 with a 60 thousandths case depth per side. That's twice the competition. All HSK and shrink fit products are made from premium tool steel which is hardened using our proprietary method which imparts greater molecular stability and material memory to our holders giving our tooling extremely long life. Manufacturing processes are also key to this recipe. At Briney, we use a two-step process for grinding our taper shanks. The rough process is what we call an oscillation grind, where the plunge grind of the taper, the wheel is actually oscillating in a circular pattern. The finish pass then is a traverse across the entire taper, which makes for a good cone. 85% of my tool holders fall within the AT2 specification due to this method. Along with that, all of our feature ends are ground in a simulated spindle the way the tool would be seen in the machine. Flanges and V-groove diameters are ground to ensure that they work properly with your automatic tool changers. And Briney eccentrically grinds our end mill bores. It has been written that for every one-tenth of TIR, your cutter life is decreased by as much as 10%. A standard side lock adapter that has been ground concentrically can has eight tenths of an inch of TIR at best. Briney's eccentric bore has two tenths of an inch TIR. With, with that being said, if you go from the standard concentric type end mill adapter to Briney's eccentric, tool life would be improved by up to 60% simply by switching your side lock adapters to Briney. A cheaper price does not always mean a lower cost. A customer of mine, Total Tooling of Sabino, Ohio, was interested in improving tool life on a standard profile milling operation. Tools were having to be changed out every four hours. By only changing out their tool holder to Briney's eccentric bore end mill adapter, tool life was increased to six hours before the tool had to be changed out. That's a 50% increase in tool life simply by changing out the end mill adapter to a Briney. 
So let's look at that in a mathematical context. My competitor's holder was $50. My holder was $65. We're going to go with a conservative price on the Enmo, and we're going to say that that was perhaps $10. The tool life on the competitors was four hours, mine was six hours. The tooling cost per day with the competitors was $40, mine was $26.67. So the price difference between the holders was $15. That calculates to Briny costing 23% more up front. However, the savings in tooling costs equaled $13.33 per day. That's a 33% decrease in daily costs. Now over a 30 day period, this would equate to $399.90 or $4,798.80 annually. So which holder really costs you less? Bottom line is, for $15 more, you save $4,000 plus per year. That's not a bad trade-off in Briney's eyes. When your operation's on the line, how do you protect your investments? Each job you produce in your shop is an investment in your company, agreed? You invest time and money into getting the right work for the right equipment. You invest more time and money into identifying the best cutting tools for each cutting application. Doesn't it make sense to protect your investment and buy a quality tool holder? Your machinery plus briny tool holders equals money in the bank. What does inferior quality cost your operation? We've all heard the phrase penny wise versus pound foolish in one form or another. This saying should mean more to us today than ever before. Briney's commitment to quality and customer service will ensure that our product saves your operation significant money, specifically in the areas of tool life, CNC programming and cutting efficiencies, machine spindle life, and the longevity of our tool holders. All Briney tool holders are proudly sold, serviced, and manufactured complete in the United States of America. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out.